Some language and content may not be suitable for young children. In the episodes leading up to episode four, the Kane character suffers from PTSD. Mary M. has dissociative identity disorder. Eva has a substance abuse problem. And Rahab is addicted to fentanyl. According to the World Health Organization, as many as 300 million people suffer from some type of depression worldwide. They are walking amongst us, whether we realize it or not. Mental illness is like an uninvited guest who takes up permanent residence in your mind for the sole purpose of creating mental disorder by controlling your thoughts and your actions. As a result, depression can leave you feeling powerless and emotionally hijacked. If you think you're having an emotional crisis, you can call 911. Hey, Chica. I thought you forgot about me. No, no, just a lot of stuff happening. We need to catch up. Yeah, we do. How's the baby plan going? See, I got a little bambino in the oven. Even with the sedative, you're still able to... Oh, yeah. But, you know, I think that maybe... What? I'm not sure the sedative was working the entire time. What do you mean? I kind of think that Mr. Abram was aware at some point. Does he know? Oh, no, no. He doesn't remember a thing. Well, that sedative I got for you could put an elephant out. How'd you get your hands on that stuff anyway? You forget who I work for? Rahab is the fucking bomb. I think so. So, the second part of the baby plan is in the works. Which one? The one Miss Sarah's plan or the one we talked about? Operation Get Rid of Bitch Sada Plan. So my idea is working. You know you might ride or die. Mm-hmm, that's me. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. I think I hear Mr. Abram. Chat later. Good morning, Mr. Abram. Good morning. Something wrong? No, I was just thinking about what you told me the other day. About Miss Sada? Oh, I didn't mean to upset you, Mr. Abram. Yeah, my wife's birthday is coming up soon. She turns 50, right? It's a special one, yes. And I want to plan a fabulous surprise party with her closest friends. Oh, I think the baby kicked. You want to feel? What is this? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Hagar said the baby just kicked. That's wonderful. Hagar, perhaps you'd like to go upstairs and, and lie down. Good idea. Hagar, take the rest of the day off. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Abram. So you felt the baby kick? Well, Hagar said it kicked, and then she placed my hand on her belly. Hmm. What's wrong? Is this whole baby thing too much? No, no. I just had a long morning. Did that Shiloh person ever return? Who? Oh, oh no. Eva hasn't seen her. Excuse me, sweetheart. I need to take this call. Hello? Sarah. It's Ash. From Kingdom Records. How are you? Been a long time. How's Jessie? Jessie's, um, well, she's good. She's good. What kind of trouble are you in? Me? Nah, you know how it is, Sarah. How is Jessie, Ash? She's alive and well, thank you. Oh, I know she's alive, or... I know. You keep reminding me. Let me speak to my sister. Uh, she's not here. Where is she? Come on, Sarah. I called to see about Red Bones as a pill. Not talk about Jesse, okay? And when did you become my marriage counselor? The day you signed the prenup, that's when. The day our father told you what would happen if... Jesse is away for a little while. I had to send her back to the facility to be taken care of. What does that mean, taken care of? You know how Jesse gets sometimes. When is she coming home, Ash? When her mood stabilizes. When she stops hearing things. Seeing things that are not there. Better be soon, Ash. Is Red Bones getting out of the joint or what? It's looking good so far. She needs to be patient and not cause any problems. Well, you get our top artist out of jail, and I will personally make sure she doesn't carry any more guns. You just focus on taking care of my sister. Yep, I will. Ciao. So how is the brother-in-law? Up to his same old nonsense with my sister. 
You took care of those loose ends when you went away, right? Yes. He can't get his nasty hands on my sister's money, even if something does happen to her. I have a fantastic idea that will make you smile. Hey, girls leaving town? Sweetheart, I thought you were excited about the baby. What gives? Oh, nothing. I am happy that we will have a baby soon. Her attitude is... I'll talk to her. I'm going to head over to First Lady Eva's to settle this Shiloh business. I'll be here when you return. Mr. Abram, where is Miss Sada? She stepped out. I need your help. Sure. Anything for you. I was going to suggest that Sarah plan her birthday party, but I've decided to plan it all myself. Make it a surprise. Oh, this should be a treat, Mr. Abram. I started a list of our closest friends to invite. I need you to find out the name of that French chef she adores, and I'll take it from there. You think you can handle that? No problem. I'm curious, Mr. Abram. About what? Well, Miss Sada is much older than you, by like 10 years, right? I don't follow. Oh, I'm just saying, you don't know what it's like to turn 50. So I'm just wondering, what kind of present should I get for Miss Sada? You've agreed to give us your baby. That's all the present we need. You're going to be a great father. Why, thank you. I don't mean to pry, and please stop me if this is too personal. Okay. Have you mentioned to the father of the child he has a baby on the way? It's fine. It's all good. I mean, he may seem fine now, but when the child is born... Trust me when I tell you, I'm very happy how things are progressing, Mr. Abram. Whoever that is, I'm not available. Officer Jericho. Hi, how are you? How can I help you today? You know, you never told me your name when I was here before. I didn't. I have this terrible habit of talking to people as if I've known them forever. You're not in uniform today. Are you off duty? Well, technically, I'm never off duty. I just decided to... Hey, um, do you own this place? Why do you ask? It says Rahab's. I don't know. I just thought that was you, or just a name given to the place. You still didn't say why you stopped by. Was it to see me, Sal? Sort of. I can't seem to find my ID, and I wanted to see if you found it. No. I would check the lost and found, but that would be pointless since you never stepped inside the last time you were here. Yeah, that's right. I didn't. Hey, by the way, do you know Sergeant Kane Jones? You know you're at a gentleman's club, right, Sal? Yeah, I kind of figured. Why would you be looking here for a military person? The truth is usually found in strip clubs. How do I get in contact with you if I happen to find your ID? Uh, give me your cell phone. I'm putting my contact information in your phone. Texting is the best way to reach me. Same here. I'll be in touch, Sal. Was that the uniform again? He wasn't in uniform today. Can you call Kane or text him and let him know what's up? Of course. Oh, Miss Rahab? Yes? Do you mind if I take an extra lunch? I have some errands to run. Sure. You deserve it. Hi, it's Minnie. How was your day? Mm-hmm. When will you be ready for physical therapy? Oh. Not for a few weeks? Everything's the same here. No, no one knows. Later. Minnie? Yes, Miss Rahab? Is everything okay? Everything's good. You know, if you ever need anything from me... I will come to you. Minnie, you've grown so much, learned so much since you started working here four years ago as an intern. I've come to rely on you as a trusted... Well, you're my right hand. You know that, don't you? Yes. Miss Rahab, there's something I need to tell you. I'm listening. You might want to sit down. Sounds serious. I used your connections with Dr. Thorne to get sedatives. I had no idea you needed. The sedatives weren't for me. They were for a friend. 
is um, this friend? Is this friend all right? I'm sorry. I, I know I should have come to you first. It's okay. This friend of yours, is everything all right now? Yes, my friend is in recovery. Uh-huh. I see. But I feel like there's either more to this story or something else is going on. It is. I'm still listening. That night, you know, the shooting that happened here. Yeah, the same night I fell down the stairs. Well, I was the one who called Dr. Thorne. I knew I should have called an ambulance or something, but... No, no, that was a good call. He was able to help me. But that's not what you need to tell me. I will, soon. I promise, Miss Rahab. No. Minnie, you're going to tell me right now. Go ahead and take the call. But remember, we are not done with this conversation. Yes, Miss Rahab. Hello? I'll accept the charges. Hey, Maddie. Oh, hey. There you go calling me by my government name. Did you get the package I sent you? Yeah, yeah. That was on point. All my favorite junk food. You know what, Minnie? What, Maddie? You were always the good twin. That's why Mom and Pops loved you more. You know that's not true. Do they know I'm locked up? No. Mom has a lot going on with our dad over in Turkey. <clears throat> Stepdad? Stepdad. No need to add more stress in her life. Besides, knowing our mom, she's taken in somebody as a surrogate daughter. <laughs> See, I never got that because they never accepted me as an artist and they damn sure never understood my preference for females. Look, Red Bones. Thanks. Wait, I'm not finished making my point. Nah, I mean, thanks for calling me by the name I own. As a rapper. As, you know, me. I got you, sis. I got you. And you get me. Hey, we're twins. Does your boss lady know everything that happened that night? Mm Mm-mm. Good. I could tell she ain't no damn joke. But I will have to tell her. The f- I thought... Look, it would be better if I tell her the whole story. Better for who? She trusts me. If I keep this from her, she'll question everything. I, you always a better judge of things. Trust me, it will all work out. I know that Sarah and Abram are working on your appeal. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here and start making music. Are you behaving? What you mean? You know what I mean. Have you talked to Delilah? <laughs> I gotta go. Don't make trouble for yourself. She's with Sam. (laughs) Until she with me. Later, Maddie. Yeah, later. It's me. I need a favor. Don't give me that 30-day bullshit again. I did you a favor with your son. I need some footage pulled from my cameras for a specific night. Dad, how'd you know where to find me? Never mind that. You've got bigger problems. Just cause you my bio dad don't mean you can come up in my crib anytime you fucking want. This ain't no touchstone unity. Shut up, boy, and show some damn respect for a change. You mean the same kind of respect you show my moms? Speaking of your mother, your ass still hasn't been to see her. Don't you hear me talking to you, boy? I ain't your fucking boy. I'm a man. All right, man. Why is it the first time you get back here to D.C., you go to Rahab's? You there all the fucking time. What's the deal? We're not talking about me. Well, maybe we should. I came to see you as your father. You've been very angry ever since you got back from Turkey. I was angry when you sent me away. It was for your own good, not to mention your safety. Safety? Don't you remember? You almost got shot that night. I'm trying to forget everything that happened that night and in Turkey. What happened in Turkey? The same shit that happened that night. Shooting? Uh, yeah. I was in a combat zone. Why didn't you tell me? That's why I left that motherfucker. Shit, that's why Mary M is so fucked up. Who's Mary M? Duh, Dad. You suffering from CRS? You can't remember shit. The shy girl I graduated with. You probably don't remember. Her mom's was fucked up, messing with that fucked up man, and shit. Anyway, you said you came here to talk to me as my dad. Why? 
A cop was at Rahab's looking for your ass. I know. How'd you know? I was there when Minnie took care of all that shit. I bet she did. That Minnie. Hey, Minnie covered for my ass. She works for Rahab, and neither one of them play at all. Yeah, you gotta watch those quiet tricks. What'd you say? We need to get ahead of whatever shit may happen. Why, you wanna help? Look here, just because you act like a angry, ungrateful son of a bitch, I'm still your father. Yo, do you know who that uniform is? Rahab got his ID some kind of way. Many. What? Many lifted that shit from the cop. Whoa, tell me something. Aw, oh, shit, wait one motherfucking minute. You need to find some damn new words for your vocabulary. I know that motherfucker, all right. Who, the cop? I didn't know you hung out with cops. I don't, and I didn't, not even in Turkey. Well, his name is on the ID. How you know him? He wasn't a cop when we were stationed in Turkey. What? Do smoke more weed than I did. Can you believe that shit? What the fuck did you just say? Aw, shit. Let me handle this, Dad. Matter of fact, I think I still have his contact. Yeah, here it is. What are you doing? I'm calling him. He's here in town to arrest you. You did go AWOL. Yo, Dad, trust me on this. Are you high? <laughs> Not yet. Officer Jericho speaking. What's up, brother from another mother? Sergeant Kane Jones. Man, I've been looking all over D.C. for your ass. <laughs> I just made it easy for you. Where are you? How you been? All right, all right. Same shit. Different day. Yeah, I hear that. You know why I'm here, right? I heard. And you still called me. D.C. is a small town, my man. Eyes and ears everywhere. But you wouldn't know that. Being from Dele Fede. Oh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh, no thanks on that. <laughs> well, I'd love to see you. <laughs> I bet you would. Meet me at Rahab's in 10. What makes you think I know where Rahab's is? Cause it's a strip club, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I see your crazy ass hasn't changed a bit. Never will. Later. Later. Are you off your meds? No, are you fucking high? Neither one yet. Come on. Come on, Dad, let's go. I ain't going nowhere with you. Don't you want to meet Officer Sal Jericho? What are you up to? Just come with me. Don't act like you stopped hanging out at Rahab's. All right, let's go. Looking for Aztec? No. Here he comes. Kane! Sal! Hey, Sal, I want you to meet my dad, Reverend motherfucking Adam Jones. Pleased to meet you, Reverend Jones. Mm-hmm, likewise. Are you the same Reverend Jones of Touchstone Unity? Mm-hmm. How'd you know? I was driving around D.C. and saw that huge, gorgeous church and the banner that said something like, Welcome, and I saw your picture and the name Reverend Adam Jones and First Lady Eva. So you were paying attention? Yes, sir. That church is beautiful on the outside. Is it completed? Almost, almost, but it won't take long. Congratulations on an awesome project that will surely do a lot of good in the community. Dad, didn't you say you had some church business to handle? Yes, I did. Nice to meet you, Officer Jericho. Please, sir, call me Sal. Sal, Kane, let's talk later. Kane, what's your crazy ass doing going AWOL? Man, you know the shit that happened. Seeing the unit blow up just 500 feet away from me. The mango bodies. I said, fuck that. I might as well be back in D.C. I get it. You know I get it. I told you the fucked up shit I saw in South Philly. Dude, I'm here to arrest you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging out with the brothers. Thinking you're one of them. We're all brothers in my book. Dude, they sent me here to arrest you. What's taking you so long? Arrest my ass. I knew you couldn't do it. You were always like a brother. Hell, you are my brother. You saved my ass over there from those fucking IEDs. 
It was you who covered my ass from getting hit. I'll never forget it. Yeah, I'm trying to forget all of that shit. I don't mean to bring up any pain. I can't let you go out like this. I can't see you going to jail. Answer me one thing. What? How'd you become a cop? You and I were called the original smokes. We smoked so much fucking weed together. Man, I was doing research and development. We did have some fun over there, didn't we? Remember those twins, Charity and Hope? Colonel Milan's daughter. Man, talk about Party Central. I remember you with Hope all the time. What happened to that situation? Oh, man. Hope. She, um, died in an embassy attack. Damn. Damn, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, she was a sweetheart. Her sister Charity told me they found her holding a picture of me in her hand. We were supposed to meet up that day. Damn! I, I don't know what to say. Well, apparently Colonel Malin had some serious foreign enemies. No shit. Well, your white ass always loved the chocolate. Yes, chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. All right, motherfucker, how'd you become a cop? Let's just say I'm indebted to an asshole with a mission to complete. You a fucking narc? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm here. You found me. What's fucking next? Just a minute. Uh, Sister Sarah. First Lady Eva, how are you? Do come in. Were you in the middle of baking or, or something? When have you known me to cook anything? You just have some leftover flour just underneath your nose. Oh, Jesus, yes. You know, I was dabbling a little bit in the kitchen. <laughs> I just wouldn't call what I was doing cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me one second. Um. Can I get you something to drink? Sure. Here you go, Sister Sarah. Thank you. So, you had to make a quick trip out of town. Is everything okay with your family? I had to handle a couple of legal matters of my own, but yes, things are under control. I would like to thank you for sending me an image maker, but... A what? A Shiloh of Shiloh Imagery. That's why I'm here. I did not send an image maker, a brander, and I certainly wouldn't have handed any of my duties to a stranger. So how did Shiloh get a hold of your documents? Eva, did you actually see these so-called documents? Yes, she came here with some folders that looked a lot like what you usually have with papers and her Bible. I understand that, but did you see any of these papers? Any writing? Anything with my signature? Now that I think of it, no. Eva, I met this woman the same time you did, and it was a brief intro at best. Right, at the Gospel Festival. Correct. I haven't seen her since. This is weird. And so was she. Okay, let's focus. She said she has a business called Shiloh Imagery. Uh-huh. Did you sign any documents for her? You know, allowing her to represent you? No, and it's a good thing I didn't. You think she might be dangerous? No, just an opportunist. Someone who sees your stature climbing in the community and she wants to ride that wave. Did she leave a business card with you? She did. I'll have to search for it, though. No worries. I'll look her up. In the meantime, if you happen to hear from her, just dismiss her. Well, that's what Adam said. Other than that Shiloh debacle, how are you? Have you spoken to your son? Kane? Yes, we've talked on the phone, but he hasn't been by to see me yet. Give him time. He's probably having a tough time coping with that mess that happened that night. You know, he was practically caught up in the middle of it. The middle of what? That shooting. The night that... Oh, Eva. You didn't know. Know what? Tell me. Uh, it's not my place. Ask Adam. No, you brought it up. You tell me. There's not much to tell, except that's the reason you and Adam had Kane sent to the military. 
You are alluding to something else. Sarah? I have to take this call. Eva, so good to see you. I will call you later this week. Kiss, kiss. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, wait. <sighs> what is this? Fucking bother Eva Day? Damn. First Lady Eva. Well, if it isn't Shyster Shiloh. Sister Eva, you're so funny. Did I invite you in? I thought we'd go over the branding and imagery plans I have laid out. The what? First Lady, you don't look too well. Are you okay? You know you just missed Sister Sarah. Such a pity. Now, I think we should start with a wardrobe stylist. You know, like those things that we... Didn't you hear me? Yes. I spoke with Sister Sarah and she didn't hand any documents to you or have you take over anything on her behalf. She has so much going on, she probably forgot. Forgot? Bitch, who are you? And why are you in my life? Sister Eva, um, please stop yelling at me. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> if I was the old Eva girl, I would knock. Please, you gotta believe me. Mommy, please don't hit me. What the hell? Hey, Shiloh. Shiloh. Shiloh, you there? Oh, Lord, please, I don't know what to do. Who do I call? Dr. Thorne might know what to do. Yeah, he handles shit like this. Hey, Dr. Thorne. Sister Eva here. Hello, First Lady. How can I help you? I didn't know who else to call about this. About what? Is Reverend Jones or Kane or... Are they all right? Yeah, yeah. As far as I know, they're good. Okay. I have a situation. Okay. Uh, what kind of situation? I don't prescribe... Not that kind. There's a young woman here. Her name is Shiloh I'll and... I'll be right there. Thank God you got here quickly. This woman has been lying on the floor, curled up like a baby, crying for her mama. I mean, she was acting normal, or I think normal for her, when I... It's okay. Mary M. Doc. Doc. You're here to take me to... Shh. Mary M. I'm going to take you to a safe place, okay? Okay. Sister Eva, thank you for calling me. You called her Mary M. Her name is Shiloh. Right. I'll relieve you of this situation now. Is that a new Bible you're holding? Huh, what? Oh, no, no, no. This belongs to Shiloh. She was here again? Yeah, she just left with... with Dr. Thorne. Hold up. What happened here? Sister Sarah came by and we both decided that Shiloh is just some... whatever. After Sister Sarah left, Shiloh appears at my doorstep. So they just missed each other? Yeah, and I confronted Shiloh. All of a sudden, she starts crying for her mama. I didn't know what to do. I called Dr. Thorne because he handles people who might be unstable, you know? You did the right thing. Where were you? Over at Kane's. I don't understand why he won't come see me. I'm his mother. He's got bigger issues right now. You mean his weed? That too. His AWOL move caught up with him. Cops on his tail. Adam, you've got to help our son. It's under control. Good. But we still have to get Rahab under control. You gave her a month and that month is almost over. Yeah, about that. Don't tell me you're backing off. No, no, Adam, you always do this. Maybe Rahab won't be a problem. That's all I'm saying. We don't make people disappear anymore. We're done with that, right? I'm not talking about that. Fine. Adam, tell me about the shooting that night. Thank you for listening to the I Am Project. There are many resources available. If you feel you or someone you know may be experiencing a crisis, whether it's anxiety, substance abuse, personality disorder, you can call 1-866-247-8995 or you can call 911. As always, I want to thank Connie, the director, and the following talent who bring these characters more to life in every episode. Vanessa, Fendi, Tony, Jamal, Scott, James, Greg, and Aisha. And I want to thank Craig at Metro Voice Media for his outstanding work behind the scenes. 
Remember, mental illness has many faces. Recognize it through performance art.